Now I am going to explain random noise generator. At the end of the session, you will be able to know the random noise generator and understand the block diagram and operation of random noise generators. These are the um, figures for the random noise generator. First of all, uh, we know what is random noise generator, that is what is the use of random noise generator. The random noise generators are used to generating the noise randomly and it will be mainly used to, uh, that noise will be used for testing the components, right? So a generator whose output signal amplitude changes randomly and does not contain any periodic frequency component in it. It will be calling as a random noise generator. It is an instrument offers the possibility of using a single measurement to indicate performance over a wide frequency. Instead of wide frequency band, by using a single frequency, we can uh, calculate the performance of that instrument. Instead of many measurements at one frequency at a time, the spectrum of random noise covers all frequencies and is referred to a, as a white noise. That is, noise having equal power density at all frequency, it will be calling as a white noise. Right? The power density spectrum tells us how the energy of the signal is distributed, but it does not specify the signal uniquely, nor does it tell us very much about how the amplitude of the signal varies with the time. The spectrum does not specify the signal unequal, uh, unequal because it contains no phase information in the randomized output, the generator's output. Randomized generator provides high level of electrical noise. These are used to test the signals for measuring the noise figure, frequency response, and other parameters. The spectrum of random noise covers all frequencies and is referred to as a white noise. And the noise having equal power density at all frequency, which is calling as a white noise. And one more, uh, two more noises is a pink noise and you say see noise. This is the block diagram of random noise generator. This generator will work using the noises, which is used to test the signal. Right. Here, the noise source, we are using a diode. The diode is a nonlinear device. It will produce in the noises. That will be in the range of, uh, that, is, that is the combination of resistor and the diode. That will be the range of 80 to 220 kilohertz noise will be produced by the noise source. This will be applied to the, an amplifier and amplify the, the output of the noise source. It will be given to the modulator. Uh, the combination of uh, the output of the oscillator and uh, the output of the noise source, that is the amplifier output, is of heterodyne in the modulator. That will be goes to 0 to 100 kilohertz range. And it will be given to the white, pink, white and pink and UCC filters. And it will be given to the amplifier for amplifying that signal. That, that is the output of a, uh, the, the output is the noise output. This will be explained one by one here. The method of the generating noise is usually to use a semiconductor noise diode, which delivers a frequency in a band roughly extended from a 80 to 20 kilohertz frequency. The output from the noise diode is amplified and heterodyned down to the audio frequency, that is a 20 to 20 kilohertz band by means of a balanced symmetrical modulator. The filter gen arrangement controls the bandwidth. So here we are using a filter. Okay, this filter arrangements will be control controlling the bandwidth and supplies an output signal in three spectrum choices. That is, uh, three spectrum means the white noise spectrum, pink noise, and the SSP noise. This is the spectrum. The random noise generates output. It will be the spectrum. On the spectrum, we will get in three signals, three noises, that is the white noise, pink noise, and the UCC noise. 
right the first one is, is it is seen that the white noise is flat from 20 kilo hedge to the this will be flat from 20 kilo hedge to the 25 kilo hedge and has an upper cut off frequency of 50 kilo hedge right when the upper cut off frequency will be 50 kilo hedge with a cut off slope of minus 12 db the cut off slope will be minus 12 db here this is the minus 12 db will be the slope at which the cutoff frequency will be 50 kilohertz. The pink noise is also called because lower frequencies having larger amplitude. This is the low frequency, the amplitude will be large. This, this spectrum we are calling as a pink noise. It will be having large amplitude similar to the red light. And the pink noise has voltage spectrum which is inversely proportional to the square root of the frequency and is usable in bandwidth analysis. And UCC noise ranging simulates the energy distribution of speech and music frequencies and is used for testing audio amplifiers and loudspeakers. The amplitude, the maximum amplitude we will get in at the at a, uh, that is uh, 70 kilohertz, nearly 70 to 80 kilohertz. The amplitude, uh, the, the, uh, the, the gain will be, that will be uh, above, uh, that is the above 100 and below 200. You will getting gain here, nearly 140 dBs. And these are some of the glossaries, amplifier, an electronic device that increases the voltage, current or power of a signal. A modulator, it is a circuit that can combines two different signals in such a way that they can be pulled apart later and the information obtained. The next topic is arbitrary waveform generators. The simple short answer questions is the sample short answer questions are defined random noise generator, list to applications of random noise generators. The sample long answer question is draw the block diagram of random noise generator and explain the functionality of each element or each block. Thank you.